Hi, today we're going to try and explain the difference between computer memory and computer storage. Now a lot of computer users seem to get confused when they say I'm running out of memory, I can't save any documents. Um, this is memory and memory is used in the computer to temporarily store information. So you're opening up a document and you're editing the document and all that is temporarily kept in RAM, in memory, until you click save and then it's saved to your hard drive where it's kept permanently unless you delete it or your hard drive crashes. Memory comes in different sizes. This is typically for a workstation, a desktop computer or um, a server. Uh, this type of memory, a bit smaller, is typically used for an all-in-one desktop, a smaller form factor desktop, or a laptop. Um, it's essentially the same information, it's the same chips, it's the same size, but obviously they're just reduced into a smaller board to fit into a smaller space. Um, if you're thinking about your tablet or smartphone, it has the same size chips in there. They're just integrated within the actual circuitry of the smartphone rather than on a removable board. And size wise, the computer hard drive, this is typically a desktop hard drive or a server hard drive, can also be scaled down to go into a laptop. And this is typically like say a laptop or a small form factor PC or an all-in-one sort of desktop. Um, capacity wise they're the same. This is a one terabyte drive and this is a one terabyte drive. They store the same information, they're just compressed down in size. Inside a hard drive is what's called a disk platter. So this sits inside of there, it spins around in this typical size, it spins around at 5400 revolutions per minute spinning around and it can be the information can be stored on the top and bottom of the platter so both sides and what's called read heads come across and read the information across the drive as it's spinning the problem with this is say for example you've got at the moment it's reading some information right there and then you suddenly need some information over there you've got to wait until the hard drive spins around and the heads move out and that's what causes a delay sometime whilst you're trying to inf read information from a hard drive and you're waiting for it and then it suddenly does it and it's that basically spinning of the hard drive and moving of the uh, the read heads the read write heads uh, to read the information a new type of hard drive is called an ssd hard drive a solid state drive in which it's got the same type of memory blocks but they're inside the drive there's no more physical platter that's been replaced by lots and lots and lots and lots of memory chips and they are permanently storing your information they're not temporary memory chips anymore they're permanently storing your information and because they're memory chips just like when you open applications on your computer and you're typing away things work really quickly well it's the same with an ssd hard drive information is retrieved and stored to them up to eight times faster using chips than using the disk platter system because there's no waiting that they're, they're just there information is written to them or read from them instantly and they're a lot more sort of uh, efficient at storing information therefore they're faster so if you want to make an existing computer faster that you're so currently maybe you're thinking about replacing it because it's very slow then two things to do very easily and for a lot less money than it would take to buy a new computer that is a lot faster is you can put as much RAM memory in that computer as possible sometimes up to 16 or 32 gig in some computers but max it out so for example on this occasion I've just replaced in a MacBook Pro its 4 gig memory chip to 16 so two lots of eight so it took it to its maximum I replaced its one terabyte hard drive with a one terabyte SSD drive and the computer is now much faster um, basically programs launch instantly you switch it on and it's it's booting up instantly you can watch movies instantly from it there's no waiting there's no buffering and everything you're doing is 
is immensely faster. Um, and the price wise for around about 200 pounds, that was all done. Whereas to get the latest MacBook Pro would be in excess of 1500 pounds. And the old laptop would probably only get around about four, 500 pounds resale. So by far, this is the best way to do it. The most cost effective. You don't lose your data. Essentially, you can just copy everything, back up everything off your old hard drive, copy it to the new SSD, and everything's still the same. Now, today's video is sponsored by Monster Cloud. And monstercloud.co.uk offers online storage and online backup. So for example, if you're running out of hard drive space, you can't fit a bigger drive in there or an extra drive in there and you are unwilling to work with USB devices because you keep losing them, then Monster Cloud Storage allows you to have a local hard drive that's then synchronized to the cloud. Essentially, it's using some a very small space of your local hard drive to synchronize all the information you choose to store in it to the cloud servers that Monster Cloud run, which allows you, say for example, for a 512 gigabyte hard drive in the cloud, store information whenever you want, wherever you are, and retrieve it and share it with other people. And you can also synchronize it between multiple computers. So you could have Monster Cloud installed on your work computer and your laptop at home. And when you get home, everything you've synchronized from work is suddenly available on your home computer. Um, and that's their cloud storage service. They also offer an online backup service, which is like taking USB copies of everything on your drive. You install their software, you tell the software which folders you want to monitor, which folders you want to back up. It backs up everything, and then from that moment onwards, any new files or edited files in there are automatically backed up. You don't have to remember to put a USB stick in and back things up or to run Time Machine on a Mac or anything like that. It's all done for you in the background seamlessly as you work. Um, essentially, if your hard drive then fails, you get your new hard drive, you set it up, you install the Monster Cloud software, tell it to retrieve everything, it brings it all back down and you'll carry on, you won't have lost a thing. And from experience, that's why I've been using Monster Cloud now for around about four years. So I hope you liked today's video in the explanation of memory and storage. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also click the subscribe button if you do like the content I provide. Have a look around, look at all my other videos and share it with anybody else that you may think also might want to know the difference between memory and storage. Thanks very much for watching and take care. See you again. Bye.